Today on Making It With Chef Sherry, I'll show you how to make a super cute turkey cheese ball. You can serve your guests while the real bird is roasting. And I'll show you how to make it super flavorful because we'll be using some delicious Italian seasoning, compliments of our friends at Gramercy Kitchen. So let's head on over to my kitchen and get busy. Hello again and welcome back to my channel and my kitchen. You know, it was just a couple of days ago, I was telling y'all, can you believe we are only two weeks away from Thanksgiving? And now here it is a couple days later and we are less than two weeks away from Thanksgiving. So we are really, really close to the holidays. So today I've got another great recipe for you that's gonna save you a lot of time and energy in the kitchen. You can make this, I was gonna say you can make this for Thanksgiving or Christmas, but I think the way we're gonna make it, you're probably gonna wanna make it for Thanksgiving. But this time we're gonna be doing an appetizer. We're also, just like the other day, we're gonna be making this with some spice, some spice, I was gonna say a spice blend, but it's Italian seasoning. We're gonna be making it with this, which is compliments of our friends at Gramercy Kitchen. So not only is this a delicious, packed full of flavor, crowd pleaser, it's also gonna be, well, what I'm hoping is gonna be super cute. We are gonna be making a garlic lover's cheese ball, but we're gonna make it in the shape of a turkey. I thought I was gonna do a pumpkin, but I did a pumpkin last year and I'll post that at the end of this video so you guys can catch that if you want because it's super easy to make too. You just kind of make a little ball and you use some rubber bands. But I thought we did that last year, so I kind of looked around on Pinterest and I saw some ugly turkeys and I saw some really cute turkeys. So we'll see how mine turns out. But all in all, this is a really simple cheese ball. You don't have to make it in the shape of anything if you don't want to. So I'm gonna get started with two packages of cream cheese in here. And then I'm gonna add about a quarter cup of sour cream, which is just about, excuse me, which is just about all that I have left in this container. So I'm just going to just throw in the rest of it. And if it's a little under, a little over, that'll be okay. I got a half a cup of shredded Parmesan cheese and a half a cup of the shredded like Italian flavored cheese. You can just use regular mozzarella if you don't have that. I almost forgot my garlic press this morning. So could you use a couple of tablespoons, not tablespoons, teaspoons of garlic if you don't want to use the fresh garlic like I'm using here. But I really like the flavor of fresh garlic and I really love using my garlic press because it's so easy. It does all the peeling for you. You don't have to take the peels off or anything. As you can see, you just pop the garlic clove in and give it a little press. Well, that was kind of noisy, wasn't it? Yeah, one more here we're going to toss in there. There we go. And I'm just going to eyeball this just like we did our cheesecake. And I'm going to do a couple of teaspoons. And again, the smells, smells fabulous. Gosh, it makes me want to make like a Sicilian sauce, like a red sauce. Okay. So this goes down, we'll lock it in place and give it a whirl. So we'll just let the mixer do its thing. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and scrape down my sides. Just wanna make sure that all my seasonings are mixed in really well. And that just took about, I don't know, I let it go for about five minutes while I cleaned up my little bit of mess there. So I'm gonna mix it one more time. And I think that's good. So we'll take our paddle off of here. There we go. And our bowl. Scoop this forward. And then, well, first, let's see if I can get this off the paddle here. The majority of it. I don't want to waste a bunch of it. That looks pretty good. And then I just grabbed a piece of saran wrap. And we're going to transfer this onto here. And if this looks like too big of a cheese ball for you, you can cut this in half. I am going to actually be saving this for Thanksgiving. And I know we're going to my daughter's house and she's probably going to have quite a bit of people there. So I wanted to make this one extra big. Plus, I'm going to try to turn it into a turkey. I figured I needed quite a bit of substance to work with. So I'm just gonna try to kind of roll this into a ball and kind of, I should say shape it into a ball, I'm not really rolling it, am I? I 
And as I do that, I'm just going to kind of close up the saran wrap. And then this is going to go in the refrigerator overnight. I would say at least 12 hours. We really want this to firm up. So again, I want it to kind of hold its shape in a ball. I'm going to grab a little plate, I guess. Put it on a little plate and off to the fridge. All right, it's time to make our turkey. And as you can see, I have printed out a few pictures of different turkeys from the internet. <laughs> this one looks really good. This one's kind of funny. Is this the same one? Is that the same one? I think that might be the same one. I printed out a picture of the same one. I don't know, it has a different background, maybe not. Looks like it has candy corn for me. <laughs> this one, I don't know if this is so good, but I do like how it has different things in the back instead of just one. And I really did look for some crackers that were kind of shaped like that, and I didn't find any. But I did find the little flip sides, which is like a pretzel and a cracker. I love those. And I got some sociables, which is, you know, different shapes in there. And I did get some pretzels too, so we'll see how this goes. Anyway, this kind of looks like it is maybe like, it's not really a round shape. It's more of like an oval. So I'm going to try to kind of shape it before I pull the plastic off. And one other thing I want to do is grab a little bit of the cheese ball on my knife. Let's see, should I do it on here or should I put it on the plate? Maybe we should go ahead and put it on the plate. Can you tell I've never made this one before? <laughs> okay, he's a little wrinkly. <laughs> I guess I'll be all right. Maybe he's an older turkey. I am gonna see, we need to taste this first. Man. This seasoning is good. So after I put this in the fridge to firm up overnight, I ended up making pizza for dinner last night. And I always make my own pasta sauce, pizza sauce, and what have you. And I noticed last night that I didn't need as much seasoning. So I knew the pumpkin pie spice, which was also from Gramercy Kitchen. We used the other day on a pumpkin cheesecake. But if you didn't get to see that video, I'll post it at the end of this one. But I knew then it was like really good seasoning. But I thought also maybe, you know, pumpkin pie spice, you don't use a lot. I only use it like once a year. So I thought maybe the Gramercy spices were stronger because mine was old. <laughs> but I go through Italian season like crazy. I mean, I put it in my chili. Like I said, I make all my own sauces. So I go through a lot of Italian seasoning. And I can tell you, this is such a better quality. Well, and come to think of it, that's probably why I go through so much of it. <laughs> so I'm always buying the cheap stuff. You know, well, it's not really cheap. Sometimes, you know, I get the McCormick, but this is so, this stuff is really, really good. And they have another seasoning. And so they sent me this one and they sent me the pumpkin pie. I feel like I'm losing my voice. <clears throat> anyway, they sent me this one and the pumpkin pie. And I noticed there was one other on their website. So I'm going to have to, I want to say it's like an all-purpose seasoning. So I'm really interested to try that. Anyway, we need to get busy on this turkey. Yeah, the cheese ball is really good. So like I said, I think this turkey is <laughs> he's like the best looking one and so i guess we can start with the pepper it looks like they just cut two really long strips i mean this one came from all recipes and i kind of looked at the instructions but i don't know it didn't really say too much <laughs> about how to cut these peppers so it looks like one is kind of Looks like their pepper is a little more, more round than mine. It looks like it's like, I don't know, theirs is rounded. What if I use a smaller piece? Like so. I mean, this guy's not going to be perfect by any means. Or was I going to use this piece on top? Mm hmm. They probably did have a longer piece. It looks like it was underneath. Let's use this one. There, I can slide it. Mm, that doesn't look too bad, does it? I don't know. And it looks like they cut little teeny tiny 
pieces of olive. Man, those are some little teeny tiny. And this was actually right here. When I looked at their recipe, it actually said yellow squash. And I thought, I don't know how that's going to work. And I don't know that I will use a yellow squash, like a whole one. I mean, I'll find something to put it in, I guess a soup or something. But I was more likely to use a pepper. Like, so that's what I went with was the pepper. Let's we'll cut this into like a little triangle or something, maybe. You think I could, I'd know what a beak looks like, but I don't. <laughs> hmm. Kind of like this little thin strip versus this really big one here. And you know what? I'm gonna try to make this really thin. I think it will stick to the other one a little bit better. Yeah, there we go. But it needs to be smaller, right, than the yellow. Or the, the yellow needs to be smaller than the red, or at least according to that it does. Okay. And we'll cut it right there. And I'll tell you what I'm going to do. Oh, uh oh this came out. Maybe we need a toothpick for that. Let's grab a toothpick. Kind of looks like it's staying now. As soon as I turn my head, it won't though. Okay. Get down on there. And so I'm going to reach right under here and I'm going to grab. Actually, you know what? Let's go back here. Let's get it from his butt. <laughs> and I'm going to use a tiny bit of this. I think that's my plan. Okay, let's see if I can get this part. Oh my gosh, I'm got to work on that bottom piece because that's just not doing what it's supposed to. Maybe push this one down a little more. Well, it doesn't look the worst, I guess. <laughs> so somehow I got to try to cut a little teeny tiny piece of olive here. I'm going to grab a little bit of our... Oh, that keeps going to come out of there. Let's see. Use our toothpick to put it in place there. Hmm. Yeah, I don't think my turkey's going to be as cute as that one there, but I'll keep working on him. As long as you can tell what it is, I think we'll be okay. <laughs> Let's try putting this on here this time. And then you know, this toothpick came out again. I might have to maybe press something up against it and then maybe put it in the freezer. I'm not quite sure. I don't know. They made him look all fancy and stuff. All right. Let's start with the back. And I love these little sociable crackers. I love how they're like all different shapes and sizes so like I said I like this one because he's got kind of different things going on back there so let's do um let's let's start in the middle and then maybe like that I like the ones that have the little scalloped edges And is there another one? No. There we go. Okay. So I'm kind of going back and forth with those. And then we're going to take our... I'm going to do the same thing. We're going to start right there in the center. And two in front, and then kind of like two in the back. Now, his face does not look... <laughs> his face does not look so good. Hmm. Okay. Well, I got to mess with my crackers here. I'll put these back in the box. Okay. So now we need some... 
cons. Make a little bit of room here. Well, I still think it looks better than that one, maybe. <laughs> I don't know. And you know what else? Maybe I should just use, like, candy for the eyes. Maybe that's what I should do. I'm not sure. But I do like the pecans, so let's, let's do those. I guess a turkey has feathers all over. I don't know. I never looked at a turkey that close. <laughs> so I'm just going in between the ones that I've already put in place there. And it doesn't matter if they're broken a little bit on the end because you can use that side to tuck inside the turkey. And then you can save all your pretty ones for like a pecan pie. I don't think he looks too bad. I think he probably does need more crackers. And we could do, we could actually do a whole nother row back here maybe. Yeah, I think that looks better. I think it looks more like a turkey, the more rows that we put in there. Yeah, I don't know how they got that. Maybe I have this too far under here. Maybe that's the problem. All right, I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I am going to put this in the freezer for a few minutes, and hopefully that will get to a point where maybe it'll stay a little better. And while, while that's in the freezer, I may go and try to find some of the little eyeballs, like from Halloween, like that you would put on cupcakes. I know it's like something sweet on a savory appetizer, but I think it will look better than, than this right here. So, all right, off to the freezer for a few minutes. Okay, so I took him out of the freezer and... Be honest, I actually finished the video. <laughs> and he looked okay. He didn't look as good as this one here. And so I just kind of kept playing around with it. And I decided to redo this part of the video because what I found was what really helped give it that shape was whenever I cut it was to cut this part really, really thin. So we're going to cut out like all the fleshy part to where really all you have left is the skin. And then it's really you can kind of do a lot more with it. Even that piece right there is kind of thick. If you look at how thin I was able to get that. So again, just coming in here and taking out as much of that as you can. And you can see when it becomes thin, it becomes a lot more pliable. So that I'm pretty happy with now. I did add a few more pecans and I also forgot I had pretzels. So I think I might tuck a few of these in here. I don't know. He might be start looking crazy. <laughs> Maybe not. I'm just going to kind of tuck them in wherever I feel that there's enough room. Yeah. The only other thing we have to do now is add some eyeballs. There. Okay. So I am going to grab another toothpick real quick and try to take a tiny bit of this cheese and I'm just going to put it right there and then we're just going to add two tiny eyeballs so I do want to try to get the tiny ones out of here so there's there's one and two you know what else would probably be helpful is a pair of tweezers. But that's okay. We're going to get his eyeballs on here one way or another. <laughs> well, look at that. I don't know. I think he is pretty darn cute. <laughs> I don't know if he's as cute as this guy, but there's no way I could ever get olives that small. Unless they made a big cheese ball. Maybe that's what they did. Maybe this thing's not as, as little as it looks. <laughs> but I doubt it. I think the candy eyeballs are the way to go. And I think everybody will get a big kick out of this for Thanksgiving. So I think you guys should give this a try. I would love to see what everybody else's looks like. I also think you should give these seasonings and spices by Gramercy a try. They really are top notch. And I'm anxious to really try that. I believe it's an all-purpose seasoning. So I will put 
the links to both the seasonings in the description below. I'm also going to put a link to the pumpkin cheesecake that I made the other day using their pumpkin pie spice. I'll put that right here. And I think I'm going to take a picture of this guy. I was thinking I was going to get some more crackers, but I think if I put more crackers around it, he might, it might actually take away from him. So yeah, I'm pretty impressed. And you know, really, if I had kind of researched or played around a little bit before I started making this and would have known to cut that really thin, this is like less than five minutes. And again, it's something you can make up in advance. So I'm going to freeze this little guy once I, once I photograph him. And we only have about a week and a half until Thanksgiving. So hopefully everybody has a wonderful Thanksgiving. I thank you all so much for watching. And thank you to Gramercy for the Italian seasoning. I was going to say spices. Spices, pumpkin pie spice, and Italian seasoning. So thank you so much. I'll see you next time. Bye.